It's kind of a pretty spring day, raining outside. Today is a perfect day for making chocolate chip cookies. We have had so many requests for our Griffiths Family Cookbook. We have it available as an ebook now. This same book is now available as an ebook. And I like it because I can go to the grocery store. I have all my ingredients already on my phone. And I've also got it on my laptop. And today we are going to be making the chocolate chip cookies. I don't like to brag on my own stuff, but honestly, folks, this is the neatest book. I'm just going to go ahead and show you the recipe on page 93, the chocolate chip cookies, in case you want to make them and you don't have it. A lot of you have asked where I bought this bowl, and I actually bought it at Ross's. It was the only one they had. They, have a, they had a little nesting set of these, so I'm sorry, guys. I can't tell you where you can find that, but I've really liked it. We're going to start with a half a cup of shortening and a half a cup of butter. just about out of shortening. And my butter's kind of hard, so I'm going to soften it just a little bit. cup of sugar and three-fourths cup of brown sugar. I've also had you ask me where I get these containers that I keep my sugar in and this is where I put my brown sugar when I'm done with it but it is from Lehman's and I can leave that in the description down below too. It's from Lehman's. And now I just want to cream the butter and the shortening and the sugars together. Now you add two eggs. And then you add a teaspoon of vanilla. And I wanna show you how much a teaspoon of vanilla is. That's a teaspoon of vanilla. I always add just a little more vanilla. And you know what else makes it really good? It's just a touch of almond. I really am not saying that I'm a good cook, but I do have to say that a good cook never reveals all of her secrets. And in my recipe book, I did not say one thing about almond extract, but really a little tiny, tiny hint of almond extract just makes everything taste better. This is where I keep my flour and my sugar down here on the floor at the back closet. I've had a lot of you ask me about these buckets and I get them from like the bakery at Sam's Club or wherever. I get them at the bakeries. Sometimes they'll give them to you for free or they'll just charge you a dollar or two for them. And they are just fantastic for keeping your flour and sugar. Um, even like I'll keep my uh, pasta and noodles and things, beans in these buckets because it just, they seal up so nice and keeps them very clean. So we need two and a half or two and a fourth cups of flour. And 
and then we need a teaspoon of baking soda and a teaspoon of baking powder. and a teaspoon of salt. Okay, this isn't in my recipe either because I just barely started putting a little cornstarch in my cookies. My niece told me, just put just a little bit of cornstarch in it, Aunt Jennifer, and it'll make them just a little bit chewier. I'm like, wow, I've never even heard of that. So just put a little teaspoon or tablespoon of cornstarch in and see what you think. Experiment a little. Oops. So I don't ever use a whole bag of chocolate chips in one batch of cookies. I can probably get three batches of cookies out of a bag of chocolate chips. But I do have to say, I put chocolate chips in everything. And you know that about me. I don't have to have a lot of them, but I have to have them in everything. I need a little grandchild here to clean up my beaters for me. Kind of miss those kids. Another good cookie tip. Another good cookie tip is to put the dough in the refrigerator, even if it's just for 10, 15 minutes. So I'm gonna preheat my oven at 375 and I'm going to put my cookie dough in the refrigerator and give it about 15 minutes. When you're making chocolate chip cookies, do you drop them by the spoonful like this? Or do you use a, a cookie spoon like that? Generally, I just use this, but I'm gonna use both. I'm going to cook these in the oven at 375 degrees for 10 minutes. So these are the ones that I used the cookie scoop with, and these are the ones that I just put down with a spoon. I don't think it makes one bit of difference. In fact, I think I like these just as well as those. I almost think I could have taken these out just a second or two sooner, but it'll be all right. Hey, Annie. Hey. Hey. I brought you something. Okay. Okay. Ooh. I'm glad you brought this to me. One of the advantages of working from home. 
I don't have to wait to get home to have a treat, and these are probably nice and warm out of the oven. They are. They are okay. just barely out of the oven. You are my tester. Mm. These are horrible. I need more more samples. More <laughs> samples. Oh. So can you tell the difference since I put a little bit of cornstarch? Oh, Do yeah. you like that? I, I think it gives it a little more chewy, doesn't I it? I like them better with the cornstarch in because they're a little bit fuller. A little bit more substance to them. Before they're they're a little bit flatter and crispier, but you like them that way, and so it's kind of. I, I think your, that's your good. Yeah. I like these. Good, good. Yep. I like having you home. Well, alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. So if you want to order an e copy of the Griffiths Cookbook, I'll leave the link in the description below.